Well, a long-term push to develop winter tourism in Sevier County is paying off. 22 years ago, the county created Winterfest. It's helped bring more people to the area during the colder months. And Local 8 News reporter Kate Burgess is here now with a breakdown of Winterfest's success. Well, you can see it all here on this graph. When tourism officials got together in 1990, the entire area only brought in about $70,000 each winter. Now compare that to 230000 last year. Now that's more than three times as much, and business owners keep, hope it keeps going up. I remember a time when everybody went to Florida, closed up their businesses, and left. Not too long ago, Pigeon Forge in January was a ghost town. It was so slow that you could go on the parkway and shoot a shotgun in any direction and not worry about hitting anybody. Finding a place to eat was a challenge, let alone stuff to do. It used to be that there, you had a limited number of things you could do during the cold winter months if you weren't a real outdoorsman and didn't want to go hike in the snow. Now hotels like Wilderness at the Smokies offer indoor swimming and water sports drawing thousands more people to the area every winter. It flattens that tourism cycle. Um, it, it was great. We love that big spike we get in the summer, and we love the big spike we get in, in spring break, um, but we also like to kind of fill in those dips, and that's what we're doing right now. The Titanic Museum, another big draw. Only open for a year and a half, this giant boat is already an institution on the parkway. But owner John Jocelyn says what attracted him to the area was the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. I had 11 million reasons to come here. It's called tourism. More people visit this national park than any other in the country. It's a beautiful area to visit. I mean, it's rolling hills and green, and then on top of it, you put a Dollywood, you put an aquarium here, and you got hotels and restaurants. Oh, it's a wonderful place to come of just be on vacation. And while you're here, you have to eat. The Old Mill restaurant has been grinding corn since 1830, watching the tourism industry develop. Every year we have more and more people. It's almost come to a full cycle every, every month. Even in the wintertime, it's busy now. This weekend, the K2 volleyball tournament is in town. That's 10,000 people staying in Sevier County. It's expected to bring just under a million dollars to the area. And in February, you can head to Pigeon Forge for Saddle Up. That's a four-day Wild West festival. Yeah, lots of fun to go mm -hmm. over there, isn't it? Any time of year. Well, Christmas isn't.